Monkey. Yo ahorita ya llegué al primer ejercicio y estaba easy, easy. All A right. ver qué tal los otros. Hi. Yo lo hice, pero bueno. Ahora sí. Me voy a mirar. Nice, teacher. Nice, thank you. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están todos? Good. Fine. Excellent. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Ya, ¿cómo van en la plataforma? ¿Ya pudieron entrar todos? ¿Empezaron a hacer los ejercicios? Yo, yo empecé a hacer los ejercicios ya de la 1, 1, 3, 1, 4 es. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, de hecho ahora vamos a terminar el, esa sección para que, eh, para, que puedan, para que puedan completar esa sección. Ok, así que ya vamos a empezar en un par de minutos. Solo déjenme corroborar algo por acá. Eh, me, voy a me voy a presentar. My name is Juan Carlos Rivas. Ok, nice eh, to meet you. The world, the world in Inmobiliaria Popa. Ok, nice. Y esa nice es Amplasi You Servi. Ok, thank you, thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. Ok, I think I'm ready. Almost ready. Give me a second. Uh -huh. All right. So, una vez más, eh, thank you so much for joining us. A nombre de Inglés Corporativo, les damos la bienvenida nuevamente a, esta, eh, a estas clases en línea para que usted pueda practicar y aprender inglés eh, con nosotros, ¿ok? Así que nuevamente, muchas gracias por hacer el tiempo. Sé que no es fácil estar acá, eh, especialmente a estas horas de la noche, pero se agradece mucho eh, que nos acompañe, ¿ok? Así que vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso. We're going to do a short review from yesterday's class. Okay? De la clase que vimos el día de ayer. Por si alguien no pudo estar, no vino a tiempo, pues eh, acá la vamos a, a retroalimentar un poquito de lo que estuvimos practicando. Okay? Yesterday we were learning adverbs of frequency. Okay? Remember, uh, we have some things that we do every day, okay? Every day, for example, take a shower, uh, brush my teeth, uh, use my cell phone, okay? In that case, uh, you can use always, okay? Or you can use every day. But uh, right now, we're going to practice only with adverbs of frequency, okay? So we have always, we have readily. What is the pronunciation of this word? Who can tell me? Uh -huh. What is the correct pronunciation of this word? Often. 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 Okay. Often. Remember, we don't have to say the letter T. Okay. We don't say the letter T. No, no pronunciamos la letra T. Sino que nada más decimos often. Okay. Often. Okay. Luego teníamos usually, okay, luego always, usually again, okay. Me estuvieron dando varios ejemplos usando los frequency adverbs, okay. So, um, ya vamos a hacer un par de ejercicios más con eso. Solo que se acuerden de cómo se para que todos estemos en sintonía, okay. Um, luego, mencionamos que sometimes um, es un conversar porque es el pues al principio, sometimes, go to the museum. Pueden de la misma eh, I sometimes go to the museum. Ok. O puede estar al final. I go to the museum sometimes. Ok. Únicamente lo vamos a hacer con sometimes. Nosotros lastimosamente no podemos hacer eso. Sino que este es el que tiene excepción a esta regla. Okay? The three different positions for this adverb of phrase. Oh, we're going to learn how to find phrase. Ok. Ya no nos hasta el día de ayer. Ok. Ya okay. Alguna de las cosas que nos por igual, en ejercicios hay un par de cosas que no hemos visto. Así que probablemente eh, tengan un par de questions. Something that you don't understand. O no know the position, the correct. Everything is nice. Tell me. Hmm? Okay, perfect. Let's continue. Okay? We're going to learn how to use time phrase. Okay? Time phrase is, for example, every day, four times a week, four times a month, four times a year. Okay? 
those are the end will be traces at the end of the sentence. Okay? Lo voy a poner después del sujeto. Pero en el caso de time, time phrases, únicamente al final. Okay? Por ejemplo, three times, week, okay? three times a week. No puedo ir, I uh, three times a week go to the gym. No, eso es imposible. Únicamente al final, three times a week. Ahora, si yo quiero usar un frequency adverb, en ese caso, si, si I usually go to the gym. Okay? I usually go to the gym. But in this case, we have a time for a at the end. Let's see, what's the meaning of once? Do you remember? What's the meaning of once? Once. One time. One time. Excellent. Okay. And twice? Two times. Two times. Two okay. Times. Right. And every time you don't have a special word. Okay. Only for one time and two times. There's once and twice. Okay. Once and twice. And so you say three times a week or three months or three times a year. Okay. It all depends on you. Okay. This is me. Okay, I go to the gym three three times a year. Okay, that's my week. Okay, here. you. Can you do some sentences, please? What is that you do? Activate your microphone and tell me. I, 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 I have English four uh, times a week. Excellent. Okay, I have, I have English class four times a week. Excellent. Are you checking Chico Salando? Yes. Uh huh. I, I did. I eat three times a day. Ah, I eat three times a day. Excellent. Okay, that's a no, another word. A day. Okay, a day. Another example. I work. Um, I go to my work five times a week. Ah, okay. I go to my work five times a week. Yes. Okay, perfect. Give me a second. My computer is working. Okay, now <laughs> I go to my work five times a week. Okay, excellent. What about month, people? It's just month. Month, not months. Month in singular. Uh huh. I Amar. go to the beach three times a year. A year. Ah, okay. I go to the beach three times a year. Okay, nice. Perfect. Uh huh. Another one? Mm -hmm. You can use month or year. It does, it does mean, uh -huh. I make hiking four times in years. Okay, I go hiking uh, four times a year. Okay. Perfect. I go hiking four times a day. Okay. All right. Any last example? Un ejemplo. I go to I go to the theater one times a month. Okay. I go to the theater. Let me see. Theater. I have problems with this word. I have. Uh, yeah. I go to the theater uh, once a month. You told me, right? Once a month. Uh huh. Right. Once a month. Okay. Perfect. Okay, perfect. So if you see in this case, si digo, yeah. Mm -hmm. If si you digo I have the holy bowling uh, one time, one time a week. Uh, I read the Bible. The holy bowling. Ah, the holy Bible. Uh, once if I have all these time expressions. <laughs> At the end, position for time phrases. Okay, at the end of the sentence. Okay, any question so far? Una pregunta ahorita sobre esto? No? Okay, I will continue. Now we have some questions. Okay. We have some questions, and this is a little bit related to the exercise in the platform, okay? Um, the first one is that you can mix yes-no questions using um, um, frequency adverbs, okay? For example, do you always have breakfast in the morning? You can say, yes, I do, okay? Yes, I do. That can be a good answer, you know? If you um, if you have breakfast uh, every morning, okay, 
because I know some people that don't eat breakfast in the morning, okay? If you always uh, have breakfast in the morning, you can say, yes, I do, okay? Yes, I do. I, have, I always have breakfast in the morning. If the answer is no, you need to change the frequency adverb, okay? Because always is like every day, every day. In your case, you can say, no, I often have breakfast in the morning, okay? So that depends on you, okay? That depends on you. Si la persona está usando el frequency adverb que, usted, que se apega a usted en la pregunta, solamente responde, yes, I do, okay? Sin embargo, si la persona dice always, pero usted dice often, tiene que decir no. I often have breakfast in the morning, okay? Not every day. Sometimes, maybe, often, or usually, but not always, okay? Pero nunca va a ser always. Vamos a ver otro ejemplo. Do you often go to the gym? Do you often go to the gym? Hugo, do you often go to the gym? No, I often go to the gym. Okay, but what else do you do? So, if you never go to the gym, you never go to the gym. Carolina, you go to the gym? No, I never go to the gym. Lenora, do you often go to the gym? Miss Claudia, do you often go to the gym? No, I never go to the gym. Okay, perfect. No, I never go to the gym. Okay, excellent. Let's see. Um, Manuel, do you often go to the gym? No, I never often go to the gym. Okay, if you use never, only never, okay? Okay. No, I never, ah, okay. no, I never go to the gym. Excellent. Okay, no, I never go to the gym. Perfect. 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 Okay. Um, if I'm going to wrap, yeah, I never go to the gym. Okay. Now, we have a question. Do you ever go to church? Okay. 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 Do you ever go to porque la pregunta, la persona prácticamente le está, le está preguntando, o las personas le está preguntando si usted alguna vez va, va, va a la iglesia. Entonces usted tiene que dar su, su propio frequency adverb. Entonces, si en mi caso me preguntan a mí, teacher, do you ever go to church? Um, yes, I, I often go to church, ok. En el caso fuese negativo, no, I never go to church, ¿ok? Entonces eso es más personal y usted cambia el ever por el frequency ever que más se acopla a usted, ¿ok? Así que vamos a ver, do you ever go to church? Let's see. Ya ver. Ajá. ¿Cómo se traduciría do you ever go to church? Um, ¿Alguna vez vas a la iglesia? Una vez vas a la iglesia. Alguna vez. Bueno, uh -huh. gracias. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, Hector. Yes, always go to the church. Ah, okay. I always go to church. Excellent, okay. Yes. Hector, do you ever go to church? Yes. yes. Always go to the church. Every day, you always. Yes. Ah, okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Every day? Every day. <laughs> All right. Let's see, Xiomara, do you ever go to church? No, I never go to church, but uh, I believe in God. Okay, perfect. That's a good answer, okay? I never go to church, but I believe in God, okay? Excellent. And let's see, let me ask another person. Do you ever go to church? Ah, no problem. Let's see, Andrea, do you ever go to church? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. How often? ¿Qué tan a menudo? 
I three three days. A week. Okay, I go to church three days a week. Okay, perfect. Okay. Or you can say I often go to church. Okay, I often go to church. I often. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Shane, do you ever go to church? I go to the church, the church uh, one time a year. One time a year, okay, nice. Now I'm going to change the question, okay? The question is, do you ever, um, do you ever drive a car? Do you ever drive a car? Let's see, I, I will ask uh, Hugo. Do you ever drive a car? Yes, Hugo, activate your microphone, just in case. Uh, uh, yes, I do. Um, one time a week. Once a week, okay, once a week. It's together, do you ever drive a car? Yes, uh, uh, one moment. Uh, mm -hmm. I drive a car, so I... Sometimes I car. Okay, perfect. Sometimes I have a car. Okay, excellent. Now, you learn to ask me, okay? You can ask me a question using always or usually or often or ever, okay? Remember that we can make questions using always, usually, sometimes. Teacher. Okay, yeah, tell me. Teacher, do you ever go to the gym? Uh, no, I never go to the gym, okay? I never, okay, uh -huh. thank you. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Another one. How often do you play uh, football? Ah, that's easy. Do you ever play football? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. No, I never practice football. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Other one. How often do you ever play here? Uh, I hardly ever play here. I hardly ever travel to my country. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Last question. Do you usually play? Yes, I do. I do. I like All right. Okay. Excuse me. You may put in your order usually. You may even be using it. I'll ask a review. I'll ask a review. I'll ask you to tell me some things. You may ask me some things. You may ask me some Yes. It's chess. Ah, yes. Ah, do you ever play chess? Yeah, chess. Okay. Yes. Uh, no, I I rarely play chess. Yeah, I rarely play chess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, sometimes I go to the tier. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one is you see. So nice. So, Okay. Uh, no, but in the two instances, okay, once you ask me as an entity, okay, so let's see. Um, I think it's a good thing. Okay, let's see. Um, I think Or Xiomara, maybe you can tell me one sentence using always. I always play with my dog in the room. Okay, perfect. I always play uh, with my dog in the afternoon. Roberto, say one sentence using always, please. I always keep my wife. Ah, nice. I always play too often. Often, I'm going to ask you only one thing. Okay, I'm going to ask you one thing. I often. Uh, I love them. Uh, this is my sister. Okay, nice. Yeah, this is my sister. Excellent. Okay. Carlos, can you turn the sentence on? Or Eckler. You have to tell me? I often go to church. Okay, I often go to church. Excellent. Now, I take one of the words. Then. And Claudia, too. Okay. Hector and Claudia. Uh huh. I I never drink alcohol. Uh -huh. are, you, are you serious? <laughs> yes. Uh, are you telling the truth? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Claudia, can you answer this in please? I never drink car. Drink? Manejar. Ah, okay. I never drive a car. Uh -huh. 
Drive a car. Drive a car. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. The next one. Usually. Usually. Let's see. Mayra. Mayra. Usually. And Juan Carlos also. Usually. Please. I usually. Uh, I usually. Uh, I usually Hi. eat pupusas. I usually eat pupusas. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Usually. Uh -huh. No problem. Mayra, are you there, Mayra? Mayra? Or let's see. I, I, I uh -huh. usually visit my, my father. Okay, perfect. I usually visit my father. My father, okay. see. Okay, excellent. And the last one. Hardly ever or rarely, okay? Remember, they are synonyms, okay? Pueden usar uno o pueden usar el otro. Hardly ever or rarely, okay? Rarely. Let's see, Shane. I rarely take a, take a travel to the... Uh, to the lake. Okay, I readily take a trip to the lake. Uh -huh. Take a trip to the lake. Excellent. Let's see, ¿qué me falta? Por acá, ¿quién se me está escondiendo? Y si digo, I have ever a drive car. Yeah, I hardly ever drive a car. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see, creo que ya todos participaron, ¿verdad? O hay alguien que me diga. Um, I go to the beach. Uh, I hardly ever dance. Ah, I hardly ever dance. Uh -huh. dance. dance. I hardly ever dance. Okay, I hardly ever dance. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Y si dijera, teacher, I have, I hardly ever it's on sofa. Mm, I hardly ever repeat again, please. It's on sofa. Sonido del sofa. No le entiendo la última parte. I have, I have ever a song sofa. Sonido de un instrumento, pues. Este. Shofar is a musical instrument for uh, youth people. Ah. Yeah, este shofar, esto. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is well, a form of. Uh, this is the dead snake. Dead snake. Oh, interesting. Nice. Well, in that case, uh, you can say play. Because it is an instrument. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. right. I hardly ever play, and then you say the yeah, name of I the. I play so far. Excellent. Uh -huh. Excellent. Because it is like play the violin, play the trumpet. Okay, it is an instrument, so you can say play. Perfect. Thank you, Juan. Yeah, I didn't know that. I I have learned. Thank something. you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, guys. All right. So, con esta parte, fácilmente usted puede eh, terminar o continuar con la parte 1.4, que sería el primer examen que tenemos por acá, o la primera eh, tarea, digamos, que tenemos por acá en la plataforma. Está muy fácil, únicamente selecciona la pregunta que está escrita correctamente. Using uh, the time expression or the uh, frequency advert that we have studied, okay? Únicamente va a poner el, el, el frequency advert de lo que hemos estudiado en la posición correcta, de acuerdo a cómo lo hemos practicado. ¿okay? Aquí van a ver frequency adverbs, van a ver time expressions o time phrases. ¿okay? Y ahí únicamente tiene que recordar cómo lo vimos en la clase y elegir una de ellas. ¿okay? Así que ahí... Eh, Esa ya la hice. Ah, ya le hizo. Ok, perfect. Even better. Ok. Solamente lo estoy explicando para las personas que aún no lo han hecho. Ok.
Okay, give me a second. Where is it? I think it's this one, let's see. <clears throat> okay, give me a second. All right, I'm going to share this again. Okay, now yes, I think. All right. So now we're going to jump to the second topic, okay? Vamos a continuar con el segundo tema. Así que para eso vamos a practicar a short conversation. Okay, so listen to me. We have Ruth and Keith. Okay, Keith. They are in the conversation. So it says like this. You are in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips, okay? Do you see any new words? Alguna palabra que no reconozcan por acá? Me la pueden dejar saber y yo le explico de qué se trata. Okay. Shape. Shape. Ah, shape. Shape. Great shape. En buena forma. You are in great shape. Estás en buena forma. Fitness freak. Fitness freak. Fitness viene de fit. Como de, de um, no sé, como esta gente que dice que son, que son fit. En forma. Ajá, exacto, ok. Y freak es porque pasa todo el día en el gimnasio o le gusta hacer bastante deporte. Es como un adicto al, al fitness, podríamos decirlo. Okay? Okay, ok. Un fitness freak. Ajá, fitness freak. Uh -huh. ¿Saben el significado de workout? No es trabajar, ok. En ese caso no es trabajar. Workout. Lo tengo por acá en la tercera participación. How often do you work out? Uh -huh. eh, workout significa hacer ejercicio. Ok. Usted puede decir, how often do you do exercise? O how often do you work out? Ok. Es de igual manera. Ok. Es solamente una combinación de palabras diferentes, pero el significado es el mismo. I guess. I guess, creo. Mm -hmm. Creo. Mm -hmm. I guess, creo. Freak. freak. Yeah, freak, como decíamos, era como adicto, ¿ok? Adicto uh -huh. al ejercicio yeah. o adicto al, al, ajá, al, al gimnasio. Uh -huh. Pretty no, well. Digo, yo digo en donde dice root, tenis does so light y low on the foot. Ah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Eh, es, se escucha como que es bastante divertido. Fun is oh. divertido. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Alguien más me preguntaba algo por ahí? Pretty well. Pretty well. Eh, bastante bien. Uh -huh. Pretty well. Bastante bien. I okay. guess, creo. <laughs> okay, I guess, creo. Bastante bien, creo yo. Uh -huh. como... Bien humilde el muchacho, ¿verdad? Bastante bien, creo. Ok. Ok. So, I'm going to read it one more time. Lo voy a leer una vez más. And then I'm going to ask you to read it. Ok. Uh, you are in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. 
Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips, okay? A few tips. Let's see, Roberto, you are Ruth, and Xiomara, you are Keith. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ready? You are in great shape, Kate. Thanks, I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work up? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis doesn't like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Very well, I guess. Well, right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll, I'll give you a few tips. Excellent. Nice. Thank you. Um, let's see, Roxana, you are Ruth and uh, um, Yader, you are Keith. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you like great take, Kate? Thank. I guess I am really fitness freak. How often do you work up? Well, I do aerobic twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but not very good. No problem. I give you a few tips. Excellent. Thank you. And the last ones I will have, let me see. Um, Rosy, you're going to be Ruth. And mm -hmm. um, let's see, Manuel, you're Keith. You're in great shape, Kate. Mm -hmm. Manuel, are you there? Hello? Yes, now we can listen to you. Go for it. You're in a, in great shape, Kate. Thanks. I wish I am a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I'll play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Or do you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay. So if you thank see you. over here, thank you, everybody. If you see over here, I have uh, more questions, okay? And uh, we are going to see this type of questions, okay? And we're going to see how to answer to these questions. So let's begin. We're going to ask or we're going to answer some questions using how, okay? How. For example, how often, okay? How often? Remember that the question previously was, do you ever? Alguna vez, right? Do you ever play soccer? Alguna vez juegas football? Okay. In this case, how often, if you want to translate it, is que tan a menudo, okay? They are pretty similar, okay? They are muy, muy parecidas. Solo que en el caso anterior usaba uh, do you ever, okay? En ese caso no voy a usar do you ever, sino que how often. Okay, vamos a ver unos ejemplos. En este caso, para responder tengo dos opciones. Tengo un frequency adverb. O también puedo usar un time phrase. Okay, así que vamos a ver el ejemplo. How often do you watch TV? ¿Qué tan a menudo eh, ves televisión? Y para responder, como es una information question, es una, una pregunta de información, Tengo que responder usando una oración completa and using a time phrase or a frequency average. Okay. For example, if you ask me, 
if you ask to the teacher, teacher, how often do you watch TV? Eh, I watch TV maybe once a week. <laughs> okay. Or I can say I watch TV. Um, let me see. I hardly edit. every day. Okay, in my case, it would be I hardly ever watch TV. Okay, I have I have two options. I can say the time phrase, or I can use a frequency adverb. Okay. <clears throat> what about you? How often do you watch TV? Uh -huh. How often TV. do you? I watch TV every day. Ah, excellent. Okay, I watch TV every day. Another answer? I, I watch TV one time today. Ah, once a day? Uh -huh. Once? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, perfect. Uh -huh. Once a day. Uh -huh. Perfect. Another, oh. another, sent, another answer? How often do you watch TV, people? I watch TV um, four days a week. Four days a week. Uh huh. Excellent. The last one. How often? How often? How often do you watch TV? Let's see. I'm going to ask Shane. Shane, how often do you watch TV? I was. Um... Every day watch TV. Okay, I watch TV every day. Excellent. Okay. The next one. How often do you go to the gym? Let's see. I'm going to ask um, Ugo. <laughs> How often do you go to the gym, Ugo? Wow. And yeah, Ugo. Uh-huh. How often do you go to the gym? I, I hardly ever go to the gym. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Andrea, how often do you go to the gym? I watch TV every night. No, how often do you, do you go to the gym? Uh -huh. We're okay. working with this one. Yeah. I, I never. <laughs> Okay, I never go to the gym. Yeah, perfect. That's me too. <laughs> okay, thank you. How often do you play soccer? Let's see. Carlos, how often do you play soccer? Uh -huh, Mr. Carlos. Or Hector, how often do you play soccer? Yeah, Carlos, tell me. I I never go to the game, uh, go to the play soccer. Okay, in this case, the verb is play. Okay, so I never play soccer. Uh -huh. I never. I never play, play soccer. Uh -huh, perfect. Uh -huh. And uh, the next one, Carlos. How often do you play soccer? I hardly ever play okay. soccer. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, now you can ask me questions. Teacher, how often do you? And then you put that activity, okay? How often teach? How often you what? Play soccer, teach. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I never play soccer. Mm -hmm. How often do you teach English? Ah, I teach English um, six times a week. How often do you read a book? Ah, I read a book um, every afternoon. Every afternoon, I read a book. Mm -hmm. How often do you do the chores? Uh, the chores in my house? Yes, yes. Ah, um, I do the chores probably three times a week. Okay. How often do uh -huh. you uh, cinema? Uh, how often do you go to the cinema? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I go to the cinema maybe twice a year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't have money. <laughs> okay. How, 
how often do you eat pupusas, teacher? Ah, uh, yes, I I always eat pupusas. Every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... This is that's, your favorite food. Yeah, that's my favorite food and also pizza. <laughs> in my birthday party, I want pupusas and pizza in a, in a single party. <laughs> okay. Biden, three Biden, three Biden. times in a day. Yeah, yeah, the two things in a day. At night. <laughs> pupusa okay. party. Yeah, pupusas party. That would be awesome. Yes, okay. sir. Yeah. Finish, finish the class. Yeah, when we finish the level, when we finish the module. <laughs> okay. It's bad, teacher. No, but only once a yes. year. Yes. Only once a no. year for my birthday. Yes. <laughs> teacher, mm -hmm. y para decir que, que tan a menudo, que, que tan a menudo dejas engañado a tu compañero de estudio. Dejar engañado. Bye. Uh -huh. Eso ya es personal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, yeah. le no, no le responda, teacher. Uh, ya veo que sabe, uh -huh. Ya veo que hay, hay, hay un pasado por aquí que no conozco. Uh -huh. Teacher, él lloraba porque no estaba junto conmigo en el curso anterior. Le voy a contar. Ah, sí. De lo que se perdió. Extrañaba. Y... <risa> ah, cierto, ah. ¿verdad? Ya, ver. Sí, es cierto. Es no, cierto. Se, se quejó como tres veces ahí con Marvin. Pregúntele a Chayne. Juan Carlos. Pregúntele a Chayne. <risa> ah, vaya, entonces. Continuemos con la clase mejor. No, ese, ese es el pasado que yo desconocía, pero ahora ya lo conozco. <risa> ah, entonces ahora está feliz, Juan Carlos. Sí, está feliz. Hoy está feliz. Si sí, está que ya va a entrar, ya va a empezar, ya va a empezar la clase. Hasta oh, no. extrañaba. Pregúntele, pregúntele a Yadel. Sí. No, sí, Yadel me dijo, gracias a Dios que no está Juan Carlos. Y era el primerito. Eso no ya. se dice. Es que es personal. Sí. Ah, ahora entiendo Esa fue una confesión muy personal. Ahora entiendo por qué la pregunta que me hizo. A ver, Juan Carlos, ¿cómo se siente? Hoy Juan eh, Carlos, va a caer a la playa al final del día. Sí, fíjese que le voy a decir algo de que ayer le estaba diciendo a Mayra y quiero que lo siento usted, teacher. Eh, siento, me siento un poquito, creo que voy a aprender un poquito más. Eh, ah, sí, de seguro. Algo. Eh, en, en el otro casi por poco me corro, porque yo le hablé al teacher de que no, no me gusta, Jonathan, no, no le agarré nada. ¿Verdad, ah. ya te, ¿verdad Chanel? Sí, así es, Juan Carlos. Sí, sí. Bueno, yo sinceramente trato de, de explicar lo más que pueda, porque... No, 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 no sean así. No, la verdad es que de eso trata, o sea, cada maestro tiene su metodología diferente y pues... Eh, por lo menos, vea que se aprende, esa es la idea, que se practique, ¿verdad? Para que si no, no, no se tomen en el examen, no estén haciendo los exámenes. Porque hay gente que se queda acabada, que no, no pasó eso, y ahí murió, y ya se quieren, se quieren retirar. Entonces, si yo hago algo, teacher, yo, no hago es algo, idea. Ajá. yo hago algo que trabajo toda la plataforma. Ajá. La trabajo toda la plataforma, ya cuando he pasado toda la plataforma, en menos de una semana ya la tengo hecha. Y ahí me practicar, eso es lo que yo hago. Ahorita ya ah. avancé. Ok, ok. Sí, pero igual, cuando son cuestiones de escribir, cuando son ejercicios de escribir y completar, hay gente que se trabaja en eso, porque por veces es un punto o la mayúscula, o no sé, cualquier cosa se pasa y, o sea, eso, eso es muy sencillo, pero no, no hay que perder la, la, la cordura, ¿verdad? sino que hay que poner atención y pues, si usted que está bueno, me manda un mensaje y yo con gusto le ayudo a ver, a ver en qué está fallando ahí, pero eso siempre es una cosita la que está fallando, es, no es usted, no es usted que está fallando, sino que eh, por eso no ponemos atención a las cuestiones de ahí de la, de la plataforma. El Igual, dedo es el que falla. Exacto, el dedo es el que falla. Exacto. La vez pasada creo que me pasó, me pasó con, con, con Mayra, Yader y todos, todos ellos que, que había, una, había un ejercicio que eran respuestas largas y en la clase eran respuestas cortas. Entonces. La 1.14 era. Ajá, todavía la, tiene, todavía la tienen grabada en la mente. Que Aquí la está. tengo, yo, porque me di duro por último. Vaya de, me echan el... Se la tapó. Juan Carlos. Sí, la 1.14 hasta me la puse aquí de memoria. Y la tuada, hasta que pusimos punto, que pusimos porque en Canadá, la de Canadá no me daba porque siempre uh -huh. salía con la tilde. Uh -huh. Y esa me dio problema, lo hice, contrarreíse y contrarreíse, <risa> pero al final le quité la tilde, dije, no, voy a tirar y así me dio. Ah, bueno. sí, es que son cuestiones que... Le que a uno, uno se trauma, sí, pero no es... Ajá, ¿sí? 
a Juan Carlos le costó porque no estaba yo para darle copia. Pregúntele. Ay, ah. Acéptelo, Juan Carlos. Okay. Y le di envidia, da, le di envidia porque yo le dije cómo. <risa> le dio Chane, envidia porque yo le dije Chane. cómo daba las clases usted, teacher. Ah, sí, Chane, este, Chane es testigo, teacher, de que me enfermé casi dos semanas. ¿Verdad, Chane? Por no podía vi. ni hablar. No podía, eh, eh, tranquilo, tranquilo, así no dormí ni igual. Ay, teacher. <risa> Él lo, lo inició. <risa> en cuarentena. Lo inició en Wuhan, si no, con él. <risa> can continue the class. <risa> Yes, oh. actually, actually yeah, ya estamos a punto de terminar, así que, all right. Ok, vamos a ver la, la última question, ok, y luego vamos a terminar ahí, right? So, how long, ok, esa es la, sería la última que vamos a ver ahora, nos faltarían dos o tres más. Ok, how long? In this case, you have to answer with minutes, hours, months, or years, ok. Esa pregunta significa, eh, mm, ¿Qué tanto tiempo? Okay. How long? ¿Qué tanto tiempo? Okay. Vamos a ver un ejemplo. How long do you spend in your cell phone? ¿Qué tanto tiempo eh, pasa su teléfono? Okay. Huh. Aquí usted puede responder con minutes, hours, months, or years. Okay. In my case, I will say I spend um, four hours in my cell phone. During the day, okay. not only four hours. <laughs> no cuatro horas así corridas, sino que así durante todo el día. I maybe mean, four hours, okay? How about you? How, how long do you spend in your cell phone? For example, in the morning, how long do you spend in your cell phone? Today. Uh -huh. Today. Yeah, today. Today. Ah, today. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Roxana, how long do you spend in your cell phone uh, at night? At night. Okay. In... In... Or, or time. All the time. <laughs> All the time. All the ah, time. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, okay, nice. Let's see another one. How long do you work? How long do you work, people? How long do you work? I think it's going to be the same for everybody. Let's see. Um, Roberto, how long do you work? I, uh, one hour. You work uh, for one hour? So work. One hour. Only one hour. Wonderful. Yeah, oh, nice. How long? ¿Cuál, cuál, no entendí la pregunta. Solo, solo una hora trabaja. Oh, no. Ah, I ah. have a eight, eight hours. Ah, ok. Eight, eight hours. hours. Ajá, eight hours. Eight eight hours. hours. Ajá, eight la verdad. Ajá. Había entendido que era el recorrido que hacía hasta mi trabajo. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah. no, en ese caso sería... Que, ¿Cuánto que, tiempo? Ajá, ¿cuánto tiempo, tiempo trabaja? trabaja? Ajá. ¿Cuánto tiempo trabaja? Ok, how long do you... No me acuerdo que no estaba el verbo go. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. En ese I caso, el verbo, el verbo sería work. Uh -huh. Work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eight hour work. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, I think this, that's the same for everybody, right? The last one. How long do you study English? How long do you study English? Let's see. Simara, how long do you study English? I study English two hours a day. Ah, perfect. Two hours a day. Uh -huh. Nice. Two hours a day. Juan Carlos, how long do you study English a day? A uh, one, a one hour study English. One hour a day. Okay, nice. Uh -huh. And let's see, the last one, Andrea. How long do you study English? Miss Andrea, are you there? Or Carolina, hmm. how long do you study English? Um, I study English um, one hour a day. Two hours a day? One. One hour, okay. One, one hour. hour a day. Okay, perfect. Okay. Entonces, eh, la primera era how often. Y la segunda que vimos es how long. Okay. Mañana vamos a terminar con estas preguntas para que puedan hacer la parte 1 punto, ya le digo, 1.11, ¿ok? Porque solo tenemos dos ejercicios en esta, en esta primera sección, ¿ok?
Bueno, tres tenemos. Ya lo acabo de ver. Así que mañana vamos a terminar esto para que puedan avanzar en la plataforma. Igual, si usted puede avanzar, trate de hacerlo. Y así solo practicamos en clase. Ok, so thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night. And see you tomorrow. Good night. See you Bye. tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 B